Well, hello and welcome to the Woodlane Weekly for July 21st, 2021. Joined today uh, by the one and only Michael Newsom. Mike, how are you? Good. I'm very good. All right. Hey, uh, we got a lot to talk about, so we'll just go ahead and, and jump right in. Uh, so uh, we want to thank everybody for coming out to the Ted and Lisa Sipes bocce ball tournament. Uh, it is something that uh, certainly was a wonderful day. We had great weather, uh, but we're also uh, going to, it's going to become an annual event. So uh, if you didn't have a chance to attend this year, we will see you, uh, see you next year. But uh, also when we talk about annual events, uh, Mike, what about the Wood County Fair? Uh, yeah, uh, we're, uh, as Ashton Glovers will be out there. Uh, we're doing a mini chapter fall. We're super excited and little kids get to try to get on the uh, mini chapter fall. And it's kind of cute how and adorable how they are. <laughs> uh, absolutely. So, <laughs> Uh, so we took a one-year hiatus, right, last year with all the COVID protocols. Uh, we didn't uh, have the opportunity to do the Kitty Pedal Pull, but the Action Club will be out uh, sponsoring and, and supporting the Kitty Pedal Pull, which will be in the sheep barn on Friday night of the Wood County Fair. Uh, and while speaking of the Wood County Fair, uh, we are also, uh, we will be in attendance. So we have reserved a table under the grandstand this year and we'll be there. So please come on out and join us. Uh, say hi, uh, tell us how you're doing. Uh, but also our purpose there is really twofold. We're going to uh, take the opportunity to share information with our greater community, our agency and the work we do. But we're also gonna utilize it as an opportunity to recruit uh, potential employees to become direct support professionals within our workforce. Uh, and we've talked about this before, but in our system, we are currently experiencing a, a dire shortage of uh, individuals to work as direct support professionals. Uh, and just want to make sure we're sharing information on just the amazing work that that is and uh, the, the quality uh, of need that, that we have in the system and, and do our best to recruit uh, folks to join us uh, in uh, providing services to individuals with developmental disabilities. Uh, and then, Mike, as we, as we continue to move on, we also, uh, you know, after the Action Club and the Kitty Pedal Pole, uh, we do have something that is, is going to be somewhat new for us this year. Uh, which is uh, we're having a little bit of music therapy that we're, we're starting here uh, fairly soon. So one of the areas we're going to have is Heartstring uh, Melodies Music Therapy. So uh, originally, uh, it's going to be for individuals ages 14 to 22, uh, and it's really a nine-week music exploration and opportunity. So at the end of that nine weeks, or as we approach kind of closer to the end of the nine weeks, uh, we're going to evaluate attendance uh, and see ways to expand it, and we'll certainly look to uh, expanding to other age groups as we as we move along, uh, trying to really develop a diversity of services so we can kind of catch everyone, uh, keeping us busy. Uh, you know, uh, but you know we know the the world of music is a way uh, for us to expand our connection. Uh, in addition to that, we also kind of want to talk about as we talk about expansion. Let's talk about Special Olympics. So what what happened this week, Mike? Well, we had our first practice uh, last night, and it was pretty good. It, it was hot, though. <laughs> it, it, it is hot. Well, you know, so Special Olympics, all the summer sports kind of started a week late. Uh, wow, we had all that rain over an entire week period, right? And uh, So really everything, all of softball and all of golf. But uh, So we have three softball teams this year, and we also uh, have uh, unified golf on Thursday nights. So there's uh, almost a practice or a game, it seems like, going on every night, uh, every night of the week so far. So looking forward to that. Uh, I, I do know that uh, that keeps everybody busy. So, uh, but then also we have uh, our events calendar and we, we have a couple of areas that continue, uh, continue to be new, but also uh, very popular. So uh, one of the things that we have with our, our upcoming events uh, that, you know, when I look at the, the list, uh, you know, we have disc golf uh, coming up on, you know, Wednesday nights, but we also have our opportunities for the greenhouse groups and the, the, the greenhouse uh, has been very popular this summer and we look forward to continuing that uh, it's giving everyone an opportunity to learn how to do kind of some of their own gardening uh you know and, and so mike we're going to continue uh encouraging you to take up uh, take up gardening over time what do you think of that 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, I know you're extremely busy with uh, all of your sports and everything, uh, but we do, for anyone out there who is interested in potentially learning how to garden or uh, seeing how greenhouse works, please let our, our recreation department know as we continue to, to really uh, come into our own as far as the operation of, of the greenhouse. It's something that uh, started small and has certainly taken off in a very, very positive manner. Uh, and then uh, we also want to talk to everybody about the, the new T-Ball summer experience. So uh, that is certainly something that is, is new to us as well. So uh, again, as we continue to try to expand and be connected to the, the, the youth of Wood County who are eligible for our services, uh, we're having something new this year. It's called the T-Ball summer experience. So for this is for kids ages five to 10. Uh, join us for our T-Ball program, which will be every Wednesday in August. Uh, starting August 4th, so from 4.15 to 5, uh, and we're going to be uh, really on four different fields at Carter Park. So registration is available by phone or giving uh, Jacob Mueller Schoen a call here at the board or uh, sending him an email. And we really would love to have uh, as many individuals who are interested in the T-Ball Summer Experience come on out uh, and spend time with us. Uh, wow, Mike, that is that is a lot, isn't it? Uh, yes. However, uh, we are not done. We, you are here to specifically talk about the uh, the Action Club Summer Bash. So, well, yes. give us the details here. So, I, I'll pull up uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll pull up a, a flyer for us to to share. But uh, tell us what's going on this summer. Well, I'm the president of Action Club, and um, I uh, we're gonna have. Uh, a uh, smoke uh, uh, with uh, uh, also we're gonna have like music, like music providers, and I'm hoping that a lot of people attend to this. This is an opportunity for providers and and everybody else to get together and have enjoyed this summer bash. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> nope, Mike, you you nail it. So this summer. Uh... Uh, Action Club is sponsoring the Summer Bash in Artisan Market, so it's hosted by the Action Club as well as uh, in conjunction with the Board of DD. Uh, so it's an opportunity for providers to be uh, in attendance to kind of show us all of their amazing services and uh, giving a chance to, to recruit uh, individuals for a potential direct support professional, but on hand that night from four to seven. So it's a Thursday night in August. We have Sword and Smokehouse. Uh, so we have pulled pork sandwiches, smoked mac and cheese, coleslaw, uh, and, you know, we want people to attend, uh, but in addition to that, a chance to uh, really interact with all of our uh, amazing uh, provider network that uh, we have available here in Wood County. And Mike, as the president of the Action Club, what do you want people to do? To come out and enjoy the food and enjoy the live music and enjoy everything that we have done for the summer. That's right. And so uh, we do have uh, we have local musicians, uh, uh, including uh, the, you know, uh, Moss in the Attic and the only. So uh, looking forward to that. Uh, you know, it's been a while since we've had live music on the campus of the Board of Developmental Disabilities. So we're looking looking forward to that. Uh, and then, Mike, we've reached that point. Do you have any final words for today? I want to say hi to my coaches, Leanne and Jacob and my SSA, Jeremy. And um, I'm pretty happy uh, to be on a uh, unified team uh, this year. My grandpa is going to be proud of me, and I appreciate it. <laughs> all right. well, Mike, hey, we are all proud of you, and we certainly wish the best to all of the athletes who are going to be doing this summer between uh, softball and golf. So, hey, want to thank everybody for joining, and uh, we will see you soon. Thank you. Okay.